All right, you guys, so we are part five with Weeping Angels. Uh, Tony has showed up to the flat or apartment of BJ, and we have now, we know now that BJ is Anthony's child, love child. Now, let's, let me give you a little bit of background information. Why Nat knows who BJ is. Why Nat is very aware that BJ is. <laughs> You know that Tony been out in these streets basically so BJ is in between Willow and the second uh, oldest um, second to oldest uh, her name is Violet okay so you have Willow Violet and the twins Jasmine and, and Lily yeah they're all flowers the twins so this is BJ He's like, yeah, by the way, BJ stands for Basil. Basil Johnson. Well, I don't know, girl. We don't know the last name. Basil is his first name. Are y'all getting the... Uh... If those y'all don't know, Basil is actually a um, throw to the Women's of Brewster's Place from the... <laughs> <laughs> the sit the series from the 80s would be Goldberg, Jackie, everybody grew up was in this um series. So anyway, Basil is his real name, it's his true name, and Basil is in his early 20s, probably 20, 2019. Anyway, so Basil is like cocky. He's like, Well, yeah, dad, I thought it was about time that the girls meet their older brother. And Tony is looking at him, his eyes dark and his like, look basil now he uses by his government name we ain't bj no more he's like look basil you need to stay away from my family and he's like but pop say my family too you know still got this sly cocky smile on his face and so tony pushes up on basil he's like you hear what i said boy and that's when bj gives him the same type of look like you better get the hell up out me dude and so he doesn't say anything tony doesn't say anything and he leaves um his apartment tony gets home Wynette, who again is a mother she's still up and Wynette's like so did you talk to you talk to bj he's like yeah i took care of it and so Wynette goes on and she's like well look um tony I'm not ready now to, to let the children know what happened. And that's when he's, you know, he reiterated, I look, Wynette, we could talk about it in the morning, but I'm telling you, I took care of it. She's like, okay. So during this time, you guys, this is a nighttime, everything's okay. Um, uh, Willow is sleeping. Again, Willow shares a room with Violet. And Willow can hear Violet sneaking back in. Because, again, her butt is out with Gerald, her fiancé, sneaking back in. And so she turns around and Willow's like, Violet, you know Mama said that we can't be sneaking out at night anymore unless we buddy and buddy. And so Violet's like, well, I guess you got to go with me to Gerald and you can meet someone too. And Willow's like, no, you know I'm not like that, Violet. Willow's like... Come on now, Willow. That detective down there, he's a professional. What is he gonna do with someone like you who's still working with their mama and daddy? Willow rolls her eyes and go to bed. So they all go ahead and go on and go to bed. They wake up and while they're having breakfast, they hear breaking news that the cops have found the bodies of the two first girls that the two first girls that went missing. Okay, y'all. The first girls went missing now. It's been about two months. All right, two months. Now the other girl, the third girl, which everyone knew, has only been missing for a week. So at this point, and they figured that the killer M.O. He's either keeping them somewhere or something. So, um, un until he actually kills them. Because the bodies are not that. You know, it looks like they've only been dead for a couple of days. Not months. You see what I'm saying? So, clearly, the killer is keeping these girls somewhere. Then he kills them off. So, Michael is headed out towards wherever he goes, child. And Willow's coming down the stairs. And so, she's like, hey, Michael. He's like, hey, I'm sure you heard about them finding, you know, the two girls. And, she, you know, Willow's like, yeah, that is so sad. So what does this mean with Peaches? Peaches is the 19 year old in the neighborhood that they know. And she's like, well, what does this mean for Peaches? And so Michael kind of looks at her. He's like, Willow, you know I can't share that information with you, but between us, we need to go ahead and, and find her as soon as possible. And you guys need to make sure you listen to your mom and don't be sneaking out at night or don't be going anywhere, matter of fact, by yourselves. And she's like, all right, then, Michael, um, I'll see you later. And so he walks off to whatever. Willow goes ahead and makes her way to the store. She sees her father there because, again, you guys, the schedule is the father gets there at the store. He opens up the store and Willow follows soup a couple of hours later, right? 
So Willow, you know, shows up and she's talking to her daddy. She's like, Daddy, did you hear that they found the bodies of the first two girls? And her father's really not talking. He's not really making eye contact. And he's saying something under his breath. And Willow's like, Daddy, are you okay? He's like, yeah, 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 Willow, I'm okay. He's like, you know what? Why don't you, is it okay? Can you manage the store for a while? Now, the daddy told Willow and Jasmine that he took on a second job in construction to make ends meet. So Willow shrugs it off, shrugs it off and she's like, okay, that's fine, daddy. You could do that. Tony goes over in the area where BJ apartment is. He looks around to make sure no one's looking at him following. And he goes into this abandoned bu building, y'all. It's like a big warehouse. So he goes probably about 100 feet. And there's this elevator that's broken. And he looks down, makes sure everything's okay. And he takes the stairs down, goes all stairs. And he can hear screams. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. You should already get it by now. He can hear screams. And he goes down. And it's the young girl, Peaches. But down there is also Basil. Basil is looking at the girl. And Basil has this grin on his face. And the father's like, Basil, I thought I told you to take care of it. And Basil looks at him. And he's like, well, Pop, don't you want to have a little bit more fun before we do? And Peach's eyes, she's frightened now. Her her mouth is bound, but she screamed. You know, she's she can still kind of say something, you know. And so she's pleading with them to let her go. Tony looks at her and he's like, you know, that's not going to happen, sweetheart. This this is their motto. They, this is what they do. They, they've been kidnapping girls and, unfortunately, raping them and discarding their bodies. Now, Basil learned this from the father learned this from tony tony was doing this when they were living where were they living at y'all out in georgia where they were living out in the south and he left not only because he had issues with money but because he felt like the cops were were telling him and had an they had a, a inkling that something was going on basil kind of continued it but he was messy he wasn't as clean with it as daddy was so that is what's been going on, y'all. It is sad, sick. Now, Wynette has no idea that this is what her husband has turned into and, and what she has married. So, y'all know we know, know. And, of course, the girls don't know this. So, like I said, they unfortunately raped this poor girl, um, tie her back up. And that's when Tony looks at Basil and said, we got a, another few days and you need to get rid of her. And Basil's like, okay, I'll get rid of her. Cut to later on that night, Tony shows up to, to dinner. Now, Wynette knows something is off with, with him. She, but she figures it's because BJ is back in town. She doesn't know. So, uh, they're getting ready and for dinner. And so, Wynette is like, you know, call the twins back in. You know, we, we need to go ahead and have dinner. Willow is going to the bathroom. She calls the twins' name, Jasmine, and what's the other baby name? Lily. No one's answering. And she's like, Jasmine, Lily. No one's answering. So, Willow goes into the room yelling. She's like, I know y'all hear me calling the name. She turns on the light and she sees there's no one in the room. It's just like... What is going on? So she goes back into the living room and she's like, well, mama, they're not in there. And Wynette rolls her eyes. She's like, these girls. So Wynette goes outside to see if they're out on the brownstone sitting down and she doesn't see them. That's when she starts to panic. She goes back inside. Tony is there sitting at the kitchen table, table girl, ready to be served, I guess. And so um, Tony's like, so what are y'all doing? You know, are we gonna eat or what? And so Wynette's like, they're not here. And that's when Tony gets up. He's like, what are you talking about? And so Willow's like, she's right, Daddy. I looked into the room. We looked everywhere. They're not here. And so Wine is like, oh, my God, we need to call the cops. And so Tony's like, hold on. You know, let me, let me, before you do that, let, let me check around. Maybe they went to the store. And so Willow's like, okay, Daddy, I'll come with you. Tony's like, no, 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 baby, you stay here. I don't want none of y'all to leave your apartment. I'm going to go check myself. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go check the store, check around the corner, check their friends. I'll come back. Give me about 30 minutes. And so Tony leaves, right? Wynette and her mom, um, Wynette and Willow are looking serious, sitting on the couch. And Wynette tells herself, she's like, if he doesn't come back in 30 minutes, I'm calling the cops. And so Will shakes her head, okay. Child, Violet, like I said, Violet's not there because she's being fast out with her fiance. So anyway, y'all. Um, 
um, Tony goes to the shop, but instead of looking around, Tony already knows where he's gonna go. Tony goes in and he grabs his pistol. He heads back towards that abandoned warehouse, goes down to where he can hear still some commotion or whatever going on. And all of a sudden he hears BJ yell, be still, I told y'all to be still. That's when Tony, you know, his heart starts to race and he goes down, he runs. Now at this point, he's like running down the stairs because again the elevator is not working all right he runs down the stairs he turns the corner and one corner he can see the little girl well she's not a little 19 year old peach is all wrapped up and then he looks over and he sees his twins tied up and there is bj aka basil and he has this horrible smile evil smile on his face and he's a see pops i told you about time i got introduced to the rest of the family all right, you guys, that's part five of Weeping Angels.